Okay, folks, let's move along here. We have created on the designer page a squeeze page. We went and we got a domain host, and now we are going to um, get this live on that domain. We're going to get that squeeze page live on the domain. We go to FileZilla. This is your FTP account, and we go over here where it says host name, and you can see I have typed FTP dot, and then whatever your domain name is. Here we have MLMLeadsBlast.com. You put in your username that's generated from your domain host. You put in your password, and you can see before you connect that there is nothing on the right hand side when you connect you're connecting to the World Wide Web there's nothing on the World Wide Web just yet because I haven't connected what is on the left side is all the files on my computer so once I quick connect I end up looking like this it says directory listing successful that means I've connected to the World Wide Web and now I have it on the right hand side I still have my computer files and now I have the World Wide Web files now what I'm going to do is scroll down over here to a file called public HTML. Public HTML is where all your pages are put to go live. And when you click on that, it will show you below all the pages that you have live. Now I go back to my computer. I'm on my desktop right now. I could go to documents. I could go to my downloads. I could take a file from anywhere to make it to publish it live but I'm gonna to go to my desktop because that's where we put the test one two three squeeze page and I'm gonna find that test one two three squeeze page and I'm gonna just drag it over here to the public HTML now it says here connection established waiting waiting now it says it's already on there that's because I put it on before and I'm just gonna click OK to have it overwritten so I'm gonna have it put on once again and it says directory listing successful means it is now live on the internet so, and if I go over here again I can look at my public HTML file I can scroll down to see everything that's on it one of the things that's on it is the test 123.html dot htm file so now when I go back to my browser, my, my web browser, what I'm going to do is, uh, okay, let's see if we can get this in view. Yes, here we go. I'm going to go onto my address bar and I'm going to put in MLM leads blast will generate it right here mlmleadsblast.com forward slash test 123.htm which is the address of the page we just created and here it is here's your squeeze page we can scroll down and lo and behold there is whoops I lost it there let me go back to it here is what we're looking for it's cut off a little bit here. We can't quite get it in view, but you get the idea. You've got the page, and you have the form code generated, the opt-in box. Now, people will read the squeeze page. They can put in their name and their email address here. They'll click here, and they will immediately go to your get response autoresponder account, which means that they'll get your emails, uh, and etc. We'll get into that later. But for now, here you do. Here you go. You have a squeeze page. It can be made a lot nicer than this. We did it very quickly. Um, change the text fonts here. They should be larger. Um, yeah. This should be this this form code box should actually the opt-in box should actually be centered. But it's enough to show you how you go about creating a squeeze page, getting it on your domain on the World Wide Web, and now you are ready to do business. You're ready to receive prospects, leads opt-ins. These opt-ins go into your email account and now you can promote anything you want to them to start making money online. That is really how it's done and it's really just that simple.